What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are taking a look at the player of the week selection here. These are the domestic league player of the weeks. So we've already covered the European club pack. We've already covered the Messi pack and we will be doing the J League as well. But for now, we are going to cover this player of the week. And let's, listen lads, there, these, this is probably one of the worst player of the weeks. Unless you get very lucky and you get uh, a couple of the players that you see here, such as Etze, who is really, really good. Trossard is not bad either. But the rest of the pack, man, is very, very poor. I mean, you've got, I was trying to pronounce his name yesterday, lads. And you guys were trying to help me out, but I still can't crack it, man. I still can't crack it. But this guy is down as a DMF. Shalhanaglu. 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 Anyway, I'm back. Uh, I'm kind of butchering his name the whole time. Some days I can pronounce it, some days I can't. But again, as a DMF orchestrator, very good passing, which is kind of wasted at the moment. Very standard card other than that. And that's the top pick. It's a 95 rated DMF. And of course, you are going to have the passing plus three only when he has the A rating. You can't train skills or player proficiency, uh, play styles or positions or anything like that. So I do feel like that even though he's got some player skills and he's got every stat and skill that you could want for a passing player, orchestrators are kind of a little bit wasted in the game at the moment because why have an orchestrator when you can have a box-to-box -box that has the same stats as an orchestrator, such as a new Barella if you really want to have good passing and dribbling and everything works the way it should while still having good AI runs. So I do feel like as the top two picks here, the 93 or the 93, uh, the couple of 93 rated players here, I do feel like that there are a couple of these that are just definitely not worth it, in my opinion. We have Gutierrez there as well. Again, you've got a left-back, full-back finisher. He's non-booster, and he's got really low aggression for a left-back, full-back finisher. I feel like his speed and acceleration and stamina is quite decent. His lofty pass is quite decent. I reckon what they're going to do in the next gameplay patch and the next gameplay update, I reckon they're going to switch up the passing. I think they're going to change the passing quite a bit. And if you notice that a lot of players now, including left backs, that usually have pinpoint crossing and they'll have outside curler, they'll have one touch pass, they'll have true passing, they'll have a lot of uh, passing skills. I do feel that they're going to make a switch up to that. That's just my prediction. You heard it here first. But again, other than that, it's a fairly generic left back. None of these players do, um, you know, probably compare to even standard GP cards if you train them right, which is a bit of a pity. Frossard again down as a left wing. I would usually play him as a CF, even though he's down as a prolific winger. I would kind of just say, listen, forget about him being a prolific winger. Bring him on as a super sub, either as a front 4-3-3 or a 4-2-1-3, or else as a man up front that can do it all himself. Very solid. One-touch pass, first-time shot, long-range shooting, knuckle shot, rising shot, long-range curler. But he also has super sub, which we mentioned there. 92 acceleration, balance and tight possession and dribbling is quite decent. And the finishing, of course, you're going to be getting a plus three boost to pretty much all of these stats or plus two with any of the top class managers. Xabi Alonso and Pep giving you the ultimate reward and ultimate boost with the stats. But yeah, it's an okay card. Honestly, it's an okay card. We also have Bailly here, Bailey. Uh, this guy is 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 84 balance, 88 dribbling. All of those are going to get a boost into the 90s. Flip flap, he's also got heel trick, true passing. Missing a couple of key player skills. I think he's been having a good year, obviously, for Villa. But I do think he's missing a couple of key stats and key uh, player skills. And to be honest, any whole player in the game is going to be dominant because of the way the player ID works. But I feel like that if you are going to be getting a whole player, you need to have his speed and acceleration as high as possible, or else you need to have his tight possession at least 90. He doesn't have either of those, apart from the speed and uh, acceleration going to be getting a manager boost. But other than that, yeah, I don't think that it's worth spinning for pretty much any of those top players that you're seeing there. You have Ramos and Kamada. Kamada is going to get your box-to-box uh, -box sorted for you if you are looking to play a defensive box-to-box. -box. But even at that, he is more of an attacking box-to-box -box than a defensive box-to-box -box in terms of his stats. Like, he does have unwavering form. He has very high uh, weak foot accuracy, which is nice. He doesn't have any defensive stats um, or skills really to shout home about, which is a bit of a pity. I do feel like that these cards now are definitely like a stopgap before they decide what they're going to do with the player of the weeks going forward. I've said it once, I'll say it a hundred times. The player of the weeks should be a very unique card. They should have one skill or one stat that is very unique to the card. So in this, you know, if you're looking at Kamada here, he could have something like, you know, 95 aggression and 95 tackling and 95 acceleration. I know you're talking about making these cards super, 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 but to be honest with you, it's either you use them or you don't, because most people want to play with the best players, so it's like, where do they fit in? 
not even to the meta, but where do they fit in compared to GP players, which is, are free, or even the free players that you do end up getting, such as Barella, who can play a better box-to-box role, and you can get him for 100% free, rather than taking the risk of running uh, into 100 coins with these guys. I just feel like as a defensive box-to-box, um, he's missing a couple of stats, and as an attacking box-to-box, he doesn't have enough going forward, and he definitely doesn't have enough player skills, even though he's got a lot of passing skills and shooting skills, he just doesn't have enough about the card. It's not the worst card in the world, but it would have been nice with a booster. Now, I will say that Ramos is not bad either. He's a little bit slow, a little bit clunky as a goal poacher. Um, the rest of his stats and skills are pretty decent. But yeah, he's quite a disappointing pack uh, player in, as well in the pack. As I've said, lads, I think this is probably one of the worst player of the weeks that they've reviewed, that they've released. Now, we have Vasquez here as well. Lucas Vasquez, this guy is down as a attacking fullback, but he can play pretty much anywhere on the right side. And this is a nice card. I mean, he's got some nice player skills, soul control and double touch. He doesn't have flip flaps, so you can't do ball roll, which isn't the end of the world with this card. But double touch and soul control is always nice to have. Gamesmanship, man marking and interception, very, very nice. He's also got aggression and tackling. Aggression is going to be getting the booster boost. Acceleration in the 89. Stamina is high. Speed is high. Going to be getting those into the 90s with Pep or Xabi Alonso. Dribbling, passing, ball control, all of that is pretty decent. And his finishing is going to be plus 80 as well. So I would definitely play him as a right back, a hard working right back. Or else as part of your uh, your back lineup if you are starting off. You know, he doesn't compare obviously with the big boys. Marcelo, what a legend, 35 years of age. Marcelo is back beasting. And he's down with 88 kick and power, 86 balance, 90 lofted pass. Again, we have a look at another attacking fullback or a finishing fullback that has got some really nice technique. And of course, really nice, you know, true pass and pinpoint crossing and outside curler with low lofted pass player skills. So it's a nice card to have. Again, it just kind of... It kind of cements my thoughts on what they're going to do with the passing. I think that they're going to fix the passing quite a bit in the next update. Um, hopefully, we don't have to wait till Leaf Football 2025 to have that balance in the passing back of maybe having different speeds of passes or something like that. Maybe bring back a, 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 you know, a pass speed option. I don't know. Um, but other than that, it's a fairly okay card. We have Thomas Muller. We have Severa as well. These two guys, I mean, the goalkeeper is just average. Uh, he does have low punt, but yeah, you never get too excited about goalkeepers, um, especially with generic faces like that. Thomas Muller is obviously a good player as well. Not the worst option to have, but definitely not the best option to have. Very interesting, lads, how they balance Muller with the 70 balance, because I would say that Thomas Muller is one of the best players on the ball. He's kind of like, they kind of do him dirty, especially these cards that have got really, really good technique on the ball. I think there needs to be a stat there for actual, like, it's not tight possession, it's not balance, it's more that when you're moving with the ball but not sprinting, that you're able to, like, shield. Like, I don't know, maybe they should bring in that as a separate stat. But definitely the pick of the pack, lads, is Etze. This guy is a demon, one of the best cards that they've released of him. He's down as an SS, he's down as a classic number 10. And, of course, he has got the technique plus 3 when he's on A rating, which is quite nice. He has, from the rip, from the rip, he has got ball roll, double touch, flip flap, and soul control. He doesn't have one touch pass, which is a bit of a pity. I have preferred his other versions of his card that we got, including the other player of the week version that was down as an AMF. He was really, really solid on a road to glory. We'll probably play for him today. I am going to be spinning for these player of the weeks today. Ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, acceleration, balance, and stamina. Perfectly balanced. This is a really fun card to use. You can absolutely tear it up with these cards if you use them right. These kind of classic whole player slash classic number 10s, really silky smooth Neymar S type dribblers with ball roll and all the tricks and flicks and movement is very easy to read. So Les, that is it. Yeah, I would definitely say that this is one of the worst player of the week selections that they've released compared even to the European pack, which I've also reviewed. But let me know if you spun or not. We will talk to you in a little bit. We'll be back streaming. Until then, peace.